We can get 3D information from 2D images in several ways. If we have a single camera that's calibrated and we have a uh, model uh, where we know the geometry of the model, we can determine the pose of the camera with respect to the model called model based pose estimation. If we have two cameras calibrated and we know the relative pose between them, we can find 3D information from an arbitrary scene. We don't have to know the model of the scene. And we can determine the positions of points in that scene uh, from those two cameras. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So stereo vision is a way of getting 3D information from two or more 2D images uh, with three cameras that would be called trinocular vision. So this is used by humans and animals and, and also now computers. So computational stereo vision has been studied extensively in the last 25 years. Still a difficult problem, but some commercial systems are available. Some good references for uh, reviews of stereo vision algorithms is shown here and a nice website with lots of code and test data and evaluations. So this is the kind of information we'd like to get. We have a, a left image and a right image uh, taken from two cameras at known positions and we want to reconstruct the geometry of the scene. So this shows a surface model of the scene that's been estimated from those two images and the surface, the image texture has been um, overlaid on that surface. Um, so we can, um, we can, we can visualize the, the shift. If you look at these two images, there's a horizontal shift between them, which uh, is called disparity, and that gives us the um, information about depth. So a way to uh, see that is shown here. Let me just run this code. So this code will um, read those two images and display um, the uh, difference between the two at various shift levels. So as I increase the amount of shift, you, you can see that the uh, the black areas, ideally, if there was, uh, if they were identical, the they would be, uh, I'd get a black image or zero. So about this value of disparity of minus two, um, the building is almost uh, aligned. And at this value of plus two, the background is almost aligned. Okay, just some history um, in terms of stereo displays. We can display 3D information to people. It was popular in the early 1900s with stereograms. Um, you could use a special viewer, as shown here, to see two images. Each image would be presented uh, to the eyes separately. In the 1950s, we had 3D movies where you had to wear these, um, these glasses with red in one eye and blue in the other eye. And the left image would be projected as red, and the blue, the right image would be projected as, as blue or vice versa. So that would give you the 3D information. Uh, modern technology uses polarized light to uh, encode the left and the right images uh, circularly polarized. And that way, you can get full color like this. OK, in terms of deriving uh, stereo information. The principle is fairly simple. If we know the intrinsic parameters of each camera and the relative pose between the cameras, and we measure a point in, the, in one camera and the corresponding point in the other camera, uh, those points correspond to a ray emanating from each camera. So we can intersect those rays to find the absolute point position. Here's a simple setup with two cameras where the cameras are aligned except for a horizontal separation between them, and B is my baseline distance. So if I have a point P, it projects to point with uh, image coordinate little xl and here little xr. 
So let's figure out what the disparity would be as a function of, of depth. So little xl is the focal length times big xl over big zl. And little xr is the focal length times xr over zr. So since they're aligned, I know that the z's are the same. Let's just call it z. And that the, um, the right 3D coordinate is equal to the left 3D coordinate plus just that baseline distance B. So from that I get that XR is F um, XL plus B over Z. So the disparity, the difference between the two image projections is XR minus XL which is F um, XL plus B minus XL all over Z or just F B over Z. Or if I wanted to determine Z I could get that from F B over the disparity. So you can see that as the disparity uh, increases the point, the z value is smaller. As the disparity decreases, um, the point gets further away. So the goal is to compute a complete disparity map. This shows a sequence of images, um, more than two actually, and the derived stereo, uh, disparity map from that. Let's take a look at the reconstruction error now. So given the uncertainty in the um, pixel projections of a point, what is the corresponding error in depth? So if I see a uh, point P, let's call it P1, or say P2, uh, since the, I don't know exactly where it is within, uh, these are finite size pixels, so point P2 could be anywhere within this little uh, quadrilateral. If I have a point P1 that's further away, um, its uncertainty is greater, and so the, it could be anywhere inside that larger quadrilateral. So obviously the depth, the error in depth delta Z will depend on Z, B, and F, and also the uncertainties or the errors in the um, image projections in the left and right images. So let's, fi let's try the expected value of that error and the variance of the error. So first, let's find the error in disparity. If we know the error in locating the feature in each image, call that um, delta XL and delta XR. So we know that the disparity is just the XR minus XL. If I take the total derivative of that equation, I get the derivative of the disparity is equal to derivative of the uh, XR position minus derivative of the XL position. So treating those as my errors, I get delta D equals delta XR minus delta XL. So we're going to assume that those errors in locating the features in the left and the right images are independent and zero mean. So the mean is zero of, of the disparity is zero because the mean of the expected values of the um, individual components are zero. The variance we can find as the expected value of the um, delta D minus the mean. I said the mean was zero, so it's just the expected value of delta D squared. So plugging in what delta D squared is, it's delta XR minus delta XL squared. Um, separating or multiplying out that equation, I get this and taking the expectation of each of the terms, I get this. So the middle term here is zero because um, the delta XR and delta XL are independent with zero mean. So one is positive um, while the other is negative. They're equally likely to be like that. So the expected value should be zero. So I get, get the variance of the disparity error 
is the variance of the um, error in the x position in, in the x x position in the right image plus the variance of the x position in the left image or more concisely sigma sub d squared is sigma sub r squared plus sigma sub l squared <coughs>